Hello, and welcome to another new video from BroadleySideroGraph.com. In this video, we're going to go over the historical correlation for 97 securities from January 1st of 2015 through the middle of 2016. So now that we're halfway through the year, let's take a look to see how well these indicators are doing. In this graph here, you'll see a graph of the bradley Sedera graph, the middle terms, long terms, and declinations. And you'll see that graphed against the historical correlations for several categories of securities. So we have currencies and foreign exchange, ETFs and other, which that's a catch-all category for things that did not fit in the other categories. Individual equities, commodities, global equity indices, and overall. So the overall category takes into account all of the data for all the securities. So as you can see here, while some categories didn't perform quite as well, such as the currencies, you can see that two categories that did perform very well were commodities and global equity indices. And before we go further, I just want to point out that there's no advice being provided on this call. So this call in this video it does not contain any investment advice, uh, financial advice, legal advice, or any other types of advice. So please consult your own professional advisors to advise your own unique situation. And it probably goes without saying, but past performance is no guarantee of future results. And just to be honest with you, these results are far better than what I expected. Uh, typically, the bradley Sedera graph, I don't think that it perfectly matches the market. And the results that we're going to look at today are pretty strong. I was kind of blown away by how strong they were. So uh, I definitely want to emphasize that past performance is not necessarily any guarantee of future results. Okay, so... As you can see here for the bradley Sedera graph, for the global equity indices that were part of this study, the correlation was almost 50%, 48%. And if you come over to the declinations, it was also relatively high. It was 44%. So you can see the middle terms did not perform very well. The middle terms had a negative correlation. But the bradley Sedera graph and declinations did well for both of these. And the long terms actually did pretty well for the global equity indices. So let's take a look at how we can analyze this on a real-time basis. So you probably don't want to have to wait every six months or every year for me to come up with an updated historical correlation analysis so that you can figure out, okay, what's the correlation between the indicators and the security that you're looking at? That's not very convenient for you. So what's a quicker and easier way? So this did take a, a little bit of time. It actually took quite a bit of time, but I think it'll make it much, much easier for you to see the correlations going forward. So over here, uh, this is showing on the left, a folder where I keep the spreadsheets. So let's open up the dashboard for the New York Stock Exchange. So this is the Advanced Astro dashboard for the New York Stock Exchange. Okay, so as you can see here, uh, it's pretty standard. This should look pretty familiar to you if you've taken a look at the Advanced Astro dashboard before. So there's a new tab that I included in all 97 dashboards. So if you downloaded an advanced Astro dashboard right now, you would see this tab in here called Advanced. If you look towards the bottom, you'll see it's a yellow tab that says Advanced. So if you click on it, you can see that this tab contains a few different sections. So this section at the top, it shows the correlation between January 1st of 2015 and today. And by today, I mean the day that has the most current data in the dashboard. So obviously, to have this update, you would need to download data into the dashboard. And this section down here, it shows the historical correlations for each year. So the historical correlations for the year 2015, for the year 2016, 2017, 2018, all the way out right now to 2020. And the idea is that once you download data into the dashboard, it will automatically update with the historical correlations for these dates. So going forward, you would expect this to stay the exact same. The correlation is for 2015, simply because you know 2015 has already happened. But as you download new data, you'll see the values change slightly for 2016. And as we get into 2017, if you download the data in real time, you'll see the data updated as you download the data into the dashboard. So let's take a quick look. Uh, once again, this data is only through the first half of 2016. So when I ran the, the correlation analysis, uh, I left out data for July. So we're going to delete the data for July. And after we did that, you can see that the numbers here should match up to what we were looking at before. So for example, 
for the Bradley Sedera graph. Let's go over. Oh, I have a, a very uh, useful uh, surprise for you as well. So if you come over to this next tab here, I'm going to uh, offer this for free. If I were you, I would definitely would download it. I would be very interested in this myself if I were you. So this tab right here shows in detail the historical correlations for each security, for each indicator, for the time periods that we just talked about, January 1st of 2015 through the first half of 2016. So if you come down here to the New York Stock Exchange, you'll see that the correlations between the New York Stock Exchange and the Bradley Sedera graph middle terms, long terms, and declinations, the correlations were 61% for the Bradley Sedera graph. So let's compare that. And once again, we're going to go to the top here because we're looking at the correlations from January 1st of 2015 through the first half of 2016. Um, so you'll see the 61% matches up. You'll see the value for the middle terms, 19%. That should match up. 19%. And then if we come over to long terms, 35%. Long terms, 35%. So you get the picture. So those all get updated. And this other tab in the spreadsheet. So this is the one that you can download for free. And if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, look into the video description to download the file. And if you're on the website, bradleysaderograph.com, just look right below the video for a link to download this spreadsheet. In addition to this tab, which contains data from the beginning of 2015 through the first half of 2016, you can also click right here and you can see the data for just the year 2015. And then finally, this last tab has data for just the first half of the year 2016. So if you want to compare the data for 2015, you can come over here and you, you can look up the uh, New York Stock Exchange. And I'm going to the section that says global equity indices. And then I'm looking up New York Stock Exchange. So the values for just 2015, it was 60% for the Bradley Sedera graph. And you'll see that match up. And then for the middle terms, it was positive 5% and you'll see that match up. So as you can see, the Advanced Astro Dashboard, now that it has that tab called Advanced, you can see what the historical correlations are in real time. Uh, in addition to showing the values here, um, this section up top, um, it actually ranks it in order for you just for your convenience. So in the dashboard, when you get it, there are going to be some hidden rows and you don't need to go in here. But if you do happen to take a look, uh, it basically pulls all the data from the dashboard. And then up here, it basically ranks the data automatically. So as the data uh, gets pulled into the dashboard, it's going to automatically rank them for you in the section up at the top. So you can automatically see which, uh, which sets of weights had the highest correlation. So for example, the Bradley Sedera graph you know, had a very high correlation over this time period, but one that had a little bit higher of a correlation was the advanced astro indicator that said no opposite weights or planets beyond Saturn. So then you can come over here and say, okay, let's look at uh, no opposite weights or planets beyond Saturn. So you can take a look to see that indicator, as well as if you want to look at the Bradley Sedera graph, you can simply put a yes here, or you can put in the Bradley bars. Um, sometimes the indicators are closely aligned, sometimes they're very different, but either way, um, this will make it much easier for you to see the historical, historical correlations, as well as uh, ranking them so you can see in real time which ones have the highest correlations. Okay, so now that we went over some of that functionality, Let's talk about some other things in this free spreadsheet. So if you go to the top of the spreadsheet, and this is the uh, spreadsheet that contains the historical correlations for these 97 securities, there are two sections at the top. So the, the section at the far top, it says percent positive. So here's what this is intended to do. It's intended to tell us what percent of the time over the time period selected was there a positive correlation. So for example, uh, if you look at currencies, you'll see that there is 24% uh, of the time there was a positive correlation. So if you come down here, you'll see uh, yeah, the correlations weren't quite as high. So you can see 76% uh, of the time there was a negative correlation. Whereas if you go to uh, commodities or global equity indices, you can see that for commodities, they had a 
commodities, 94% of the time, there was a positive correlation. And then for global equity indices, which is down here, 97% uh, of the time there was a positive correlation. So that's simply saying yes or no, was it positive or was it negative? So for example, the Euro stocks happen to be negative for this time period right here. And also at the top, you can see the average, and by average, I mean the mean, so the, uh, the average of each of these categories. So for example, for commodities, this simply takes all of these values and it takes the average. So if you see down here, it says 38%, and that matches up to here. So it's basically saying for this time period, the beginning of 2015 through the first half of 2016, the average correlation was 38% for commodities and 48% for global equity indices as compared to the bradley Sedera graph. And if you come over here, you can see what the values were for uh, 2015. And when you download this spreadsheet, all of this will be unhidden for you. So you can see that for uh, 2015, the correlations were 29% and 58%. And then for 2016, you can see the correlations were 42% uh, and 67%. So that's a quick way for you to see, okay, which indicators might you want to look at? But once again, the quickest and easiest way to figure out which indicators are having the highest correlation is to go to the new advanced tab for the advanced Astro dashboard. Okay, so now that we've taken a look at that, let's jump straight into which correlations were extremely high that really shocked me. So I was very interested in the bradley Sedera graph, you know, years ago when I first uh, started looking into it, but uh, these correlations are just much higher than I typically see. So I'm not sure why the correlations are as high as they are right now, but it's, it's I'm, I'm trying, once again, past performance is no guarantee of future results. So if you see these sections that are highlighted in yellow, uh, these are sections where I noticed that there seemed to be a pattern and it seemed to be worth looking into. Uh, so for example, if you look at the advanced astro indicator for no north node aspects and no declinations, so this set of weights, um, if, and there's a PDF file that shows all of this in detail. To be honest, it's not necessarily something that you need to look at. But the PDF file basically specifies what's included in each of these um, sets of weights. So you may have heard of the middle terms, the long terms, and the declinations. And those three things together combine to form the bradley Sedera graph. So for this one that we were just talking about, the no north node aspects and no declinations, that's basically saying, let's include the middle term weights and the long term weights for the advanced astro indicator, but let's not include any of the weights for the moon's north node or for declinations. So we're basically leaving those out. And the reason why there are so many different choices is because before I did this analysis, I wasn't sure which ones would have the highest correlation. Would it be that set, that set of weights? Would it be a different set of weights? Would it be something else? So that's why there are multiple choices for, for different sets of weights over here. And you can see that for this category, for this category, the uh, no north node aspects and no declinations. It wasn't quite as high as the bradley Sedera graph, but it still produced some pretty good results. And if we look at the New York Stock Exchange, let's uh, take a quick look at that. So if we come over here and say no north node aspects and no declinations, let's see what that looks like. And I'm going to hide the bradley Sedera graph just so we can see it better. Okay, so you can see that it actually did a pretty decent job of having a good correlation for 2016. And if you go to 2015, you can see that it also did pretty well. Uh, so that's one that could be worth looking into. And one thing that I'll also mention is if you use the advanced astro indicator, and you'll see that the the scale you see on the left here, you see how it stops where it says 70. And if you go to 2015, you'll see that that does not correspond to 70. And the reason why is I set up the formulas in the dashboard to automatically scale the indicators so that they take up the entire space from the top to the bottom. So do you see how the indicator goes all the way up from 100 down to zero? Uh, so it, it gets scaled every single year just so that it's easier for you to read. So if I were you, I wouldn't pay quite as much attention to what the value says here uh, just because the indicator is scaled just to make it easier to read. So for example, if the indicator only you know took up 
you know, a tiny little sliver of the screen in the middle, it might be hard for you to see. So that's why uh, sometimes it looks a little bit different. And after you change the year, uh, don't forget to click this button to scale the graph so you can uh, see the stock price a little bit better. Okay, um, so we talked about the bradley Sedera graph and the declinations. Uh, coming over here, uh, there's also a section on the far right that shows the average for each security. Uh, so you can basically see for each of the securities, if you add up the average value for all of the indicators, uh, what was the average correlation? Um, so if you take the average for everything, it's a positive 11. So that's you know, pretty interesting that it's a positive correlation if you take into account all of them. But obviously, as you can see, some have had a higher positive correlation than others. Um, so if we go to the last tab, so this has the data for the first half of 2016. So this is the most current data. So if we take a look here, we can see that uh, for the bradley Sedera graph, 100% uh, of the time had a positive correlation for the commodities tested in the dashboard. And I forget if I touched on this earlier, but the way that these securities were selected, um, when I when we started the Advanced Astro Dashboard, I selected a few dozen securities that I thought would be pretty popular, pretty uh, of pretty broad interest. And then as people bought the Advanced Astro Dashboard, um, you know, back then I was offering one free security when you purchased it, but um, it takes such a long time to create each dashboard. Each dashboard takes a couple hours to create, so. Um, I'm not sure what I'll be offering when you watch this video as far as if you'll even be able to uh, you know, get a dashboard created for yourself, a new dashboard. But I had offered uh, like a new dashboard if you purchased the, uh, the full package. Um, so that's how the securities were selected. So some uh, of these securities are pretty mainstream and it probably shouldn't shock you that they're included, whereas others are less common. So that's why you might see a kind of a hodgepodge of different securities that are included in this analysis. Okay, so now we've talked about the historical correlations for each of these indicators, and we've talked about the uh, percent positive, so the percent of the time that the indicators were positive, which is this section right here. So for example, 94% of the time commodities had a positive correlation with the bradley Sedera graph from January 1st, 2015 through the first half of 2016. And we also talked about how to leverage the new advanced tab in the advanced Astro dashboard to be able to get real time data on the correlations between each of these indicators and the security that you're looking at in the dashboard. So I hope this helped and I hope you enjoyed this historical correlation analysis video. So if you haven't done so already, go ahead and download that spreadsheet and take a look. Enjoy.